There are two photographs of William Robbins Guy treasured by his family. In one, he's about 12. He poses with his little dog and both look a little bemused. A pale, dreamy boy. In the second, he is 18, wearing the uniform of the Duke of Cornwall's Light Infantry. He has a clean, wide forehead, fine eyebrows, and tender eyes. His hand, which leans on a plinth nearby, is strong but finely modelled. He has pianist's hands. William was a boy with a tender heart. The interesting research that we've been able to do for this is uh, research to do with the real people from this area, the gardeners. That was really lovely to get an insight into these young guys, these young lads like Willie Guy, who, who I, um, I, I, I told the story to the sergeant about being with him when he died in the piece. But, you know, I mean, he's, I mean, his, I mean he's really struck me because he, he was obviously someone that didn't want to be there. He was a very, he loved music, he loved animals, nature and gardening. He loved, he could name all the birds, you know, he was, uh, and, and he ended up in that carnage, and it's just kind of heartbreaking. He was very young. He could sing that boy, couldn't he? And he could dig trenches. <laughs> he was a gardener, wasn't he? He was Andy with a shovel. He just didn't like killing people much. He was a bit dreamy. He could hear music in his head. I remember he told me he had been saving money to buy his own harmonium. He never got to play it, I guess. I was with him when he died. Did you know that, Sarge? Le Sartre, just south of Lille. Found him in a crater, held his hand. We had a bit of chat. And then he said to me, he said, Harry, will you do me a favour? He said, in my top pocket, there's a single seed. He said, will you plant it for me? I said, Willie Guy, we are in the middle of a major German offensive. There's bombs going off left, right and centre. And you want me to do a bit of gardening? <laughs> Of course I will. I took that seed and I planted it there and then. And do you know what? His face broke out in this beautiful smile. When you, when you talk to like real people, when you talk about the experience of these people, yeah, um, I think all of that is kind of like part of our, our research for these for these characters, for these soldiers. Also, um, Maya's um, husband, our um, costume lady. Um, is a real army person and he came and actually just talked to us about the way that these soldiers kind of like do the salute and do the kind of like drill because I the way I did it when I was doing my military service was kind of like it was completely different to the British way um, that was a really big help um, kind of like talking about the relationships how they're talking to each other who is who within that kind of like organization um, mm. that was a that was a massive help William Guy was a, a person brought up in this rural environment and was a gardener, but he looked incredibly refined in his photographs. There was a sensibility there that I thought was um, extraordinary in the image. And the, um, the little bits of, the little sentences of information that I had was that, well, first of all, that he was very musical. Uh, and there was a family narrative that he saved to buy a harmonium and bought a harmonium but never got to play it. And there is also the memory of his niece having kept this little bird that he um, saved. Um, and out of that, you can tell so very much about a person. The fact that someone over a hundred years ago who's brought up in a rural environment will nurture a bird the fact that they're so musical. Um, and out of that, a whole narrative appears about this particular character who is in some ways unsuited to the time and environment, but also extremely unsuited to war, to the experience of war. And, and even though William Guy became a corporal, so he must have been a good soldier, there was a sense in which he didn't quite fit the bill. 
and there was a, 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 an innocence about the material that I had found about him that really kind of made, tugged at my heart to think that someone that sensitive and that innocent had actually ended up in the horrific catastrophe that was uh, World War One. So it's, it's interesting how you can piece together very small clues and out of that whole narratives kind of emerge. And it's almost as if you're recovering that person for a brief moment. When William signed up, his mother, Annie Louisa, who had brought 11 children into the world, wept and felt in a deep, private, motherly place, the wrongness of it all. Her William, to war. But she said nothing and saw him leave marching to an inner music, scanning the air for the flight of birds, innocent to the slaughter. 